Hey, this is Rob, and welcome to the first part of Let's Play Ding Small. This is a re-commentary, same video, just deleted the audio track, and I'm re-commentating it and re-uploading it, because when I first made this part, I had a really crappy mic, so I'm just making it better. But anyway, in this part, we're going to be completing some uh, quests for the townspeople and exploring Stonebrook. And when I'm finished playing through Ding Small, I'm going to do a video review of it, as I will for any other demo I play through. I'll just play through them, and then I'll video review them, and then I'll move on to another demo, and that's how it'll work. Okay, now let's start. Okay, so I'm playing version 1.08 Oral Plus of Dink Smallwood. So let's start the game. You start off in a room with your mum telling you to feed the pigs, or Dink's mum. And it's a very easy quest. It's probably intentionally added so the player can figure out the controls and all that. But anyway, let's eat some pie and kick some ice. Let's go feed the pigs. And there's some barrels right there. Uh, it's always a good idea to break open barrels, because sometimes they've got goodies in them, like hearts and stuff, so if you see barrels, just break them open. Now to feed the pigs, just equip the pig feed, and throw the pig feed down. And now, Milda will walk on the screen, and he's a real smart ass. Well, look at what we got here. What do you want, Milda? Nothing. Except to watch you work. Is pig farming fun? I'm not a pig farmer. So as you can see, like I said, he's a real smart ass. Milda is the asshole of this game, and I think they did a really good job establishing that character straight up. Okay, so after he walks off, we can kill the pigs if you want. Doesn't make a difference to the storyline, so let's kill them. Sometimes it's funny to feed the uh, kill the pigs before you feed them, because they're actually feeding dead pigs, which is quite weird. And Dink still says to him, "Come on, pigs, eat." So he's like talking to blood splatters on the ground. So like, yeah. That's awesome. Alright, now we can go back to the house and tell her that we fed the pigs. So you just go up and talk to her. And, yep, you tell her you fed the pigs. And uh, you say I'm finished with the chores and she'll just say to go visit your neighbours. Now I'm just going to whip through the other options right here and show you what they say. I'm going to ask about pig feeding, which is quite strange because we just fed the pigs and apparently Dink's got amnesia and he forgot how to. Yep, that makes sense. And now let's choose the next option which is ask about your father. And she'll tell you that he was a peasant and he wasn't good with the sword. However, I refuse to believe that because that makes it kind of crap. I'll just stick to the idea that she must be a gigantic bullshit artist. Next option, get info about the village. Tell me about this village. The villagers are very friendly. Oh, Ethel wants to see you. Ethel, she's old, isn't she? Yes, Dink, she is. And we can get angry at her for no reason, which I always thought would create a good reaction, but it doesn't. You'll get over it. Yep, cool. Okay, so now we can go over here, and like I said, break the barrels, and there you go. Unneeded hearts. You can save them for later if you want. But if you break a barrel and walk off the screen, then the item will disappear. So make sure you don't break the barrel at all if you want to save it for later. So how is the family? We're fine. Ah, and choose a second option to get a quest, inquire about his farm. So how is your farm? Growing much? The farm, oh the farm, those damn monsters. They're really starting to bother me. They come in from the forest and tear up the fields. I've got to do something about them soon. And offer to take care of the problem, unless you don't want a quest, because you're a nub. Don't worry Mr. Smilestein, I'll take care of the problem. Really, Dink? Oh, thank you, thank you. Just come back and tell me when you've defeated them. No problem, sir. And you can say get info about the farm. Well, my farm is a bit off to the west. The monsters seem to be trampling it constantly. Please see what you can do, Dink. And he doesn't let you up his gay staircases over there in the corner. Because he doesn't want you to see his porno stash that he's got upstairs. No, I'm just kidding. He just doesn't let you up there because you haven't done a quest for him yet. Okay, so we can break these barrels too. I'm going to and get the unneeded hearts. And we'll talk to this uh, guard right here that doesn't move. And he won't let you out of the village because he's like pretending that he cares about you or something. But in actual reality, he's just too fat to move. He'll just sit there like a friggin' statue. Yep. Now we can talk to this girl right over here and she'll just say, Hey Dink, what's up? And you can flirt with her, which is very, very weird. I mean, seriously, that's... She's like 10 years younger than Dink. Because, like, look at that. What the hell? Yep, she should just whack him in the nuts. 
with her basket and run. Now I'll ask about gossip. And so what's the latest word in town, Chelsea? Well, when I went to the coast the other day, I heard the pirates in Port Town are looking for some more help and that they may be waging a war with the Northern Trading Company. Now, in case you're wondering what Port Town is, it was a town that wasn't added uh, when the game was finished because it was cut short and they ran out of time. Okay, so now we can pick the last option, which is ask about Milda Flat Stomp, which is that guy that, yeah, the smart ass. Well, I hear he applied to the Royal Guard, but besides that, he's just a big oaf. But I also saw him flirting with Libby and Lina. Damn, they must dig his uniform. I have to join. Alright, now let's go across here. There's a house just over here. And two barrels over there that we'll break later. So talk to this uh, Ethel. And uh, you can ask about her well-being. Which is quite pointless, so you know, don't even worry about it. I just did, because I'm an idiot. To get a quest, a uh, so-called quest, ask after her pet. And she'll tell you that Quackers is gone. So, you can choose whichever one you want, uh, except the bottom one, because you don't want to tell her where you can stick Quackers or you won't get the quest. But once you've got the quest, we can walk outside and begin the search for a duck. What a quest. All the first quests involve animals. So I'll break these and go down here. And the duck will either be on this screen, or the screen right here. So keep going backwards and forwards until it appears between these two screens. And 